Hello and welcome. I am, as always, your host, Elias and we're going to play a little of the Eldritch Teller. Uh, I think it just tells a story. It gets a little input from us and tells a story or something. I don't know. I don't really understand what this is, but it looked cool. It has the word Eldritch in the title, which is good enough for me. Being an indie game, I imagine this game's going to close itself. Uh, Bandicam wouldn't automatically record the DirectX window or whatever. So I actually have it like snapped around the window, so you'll get to see some desktop or something awesome like that. Won't that be fun? Well, hello there, traveler. Oh, that's awesome looking. We wonder how the story in today. Please sit tight and enjoy. Ever since you were a child, you had always hoped you would find yourself on an adventure. And all the time, you never took into consideration that adventure could happen at any time. You've been awaiting an important call possibly life-changing call. Why does time feel like it stops to a crawl at these important moments? The phone begins to ring. Time to make a decision. Let's walk over to it. Calmly, though. You may be waiting on an important call, but that doesn't mean you have to make a fool of yourself. Like a cool street cat, you take your time, enjoying every step towards the phone. Uh-oh, am I going to miss it? This call has held up your entire day. You can have the patience to wait a moment. You're a cool adult who definitely deserves respect. Mm-hmm. Never really being the sort of person to be relaxed, to take calm, thoughtful steps. You're noticing that this is just a total foreign experience to you. It's such a small little thing, but it feels totally new. What would life have been like if you weren't such a quick, reactive, and impulsive child, you wonder, as you pick up the phone? The ringtone is chiming in ways it usually doesn't, as if the sound is coming through a tunnel, like a cave of crystals, and the sound echoes through, vibrating each little particle. Your phone feels most, almost magical in your hands, and goddamn if you haven't pumped yourself up for this call, you're ready. Sign the phone unlocked answer the call, you throw yourself backwards onto the couch land perfectly, maybe too perfectly. Nothing feels right. You answer, hello. As you do, everything around you seems to fade and change, looking around calmly, because remember, you're a cool adult who definitely deserves respect. You notice a very decadent mirror floating above. The mirror doesn't show a reflection of where you are. It seems to be more of a window to your apartment. And it may be shrinking. Or is it that you're falling? You're finding it strangely calming to float through this infinite ether. A sound crackles through the phone. Which you really didn't notice was still beside your ear. Who could pay attention to a thing like that? With a new reality. You're exactly right. The sound from within the phone feels so impossible. Your brain aches from exposure to something it never ever really wanted to witness. The sounds turn to words. You are not welcome. The only thing you can muster is... The hell? They shouldn't have brought you here. You notice all the crystals closing in on you. It seems they are being controlled. You struggle as they cover you. Terrified and crystallizing, you scream back at the voice. Take me back. I didn't want any of this. I never brought you. <clears throat> I never brought you here. Echoed the voice around you as the crystals grow on your skin. A light engulfs you and all sort of rounds you. The lie is gone as quickly as it came. You find yourself back in your apartment. Your heart is beating furiously from adrenaline. You feel a cold, strange chill in your hands. In your hands, you find a large crystal encasing what was once your phone. so decadent and beautiful in contrast with your apartment. Inside it, you see a message frozen on the screen. We are sorry. We didn't mean any harm, is all you can see. How are you going to answer job calls now? The end of one story and the beginning of another. And since it's an indie game, it's probably closing itself right here. Ready for some desktop. It's going to be awesome. Oh, look at that. You can see I was downloading this game right over here, right before I played it. Isn't that amazing? Well, that was kind of fun.
I would have liked more than one choice in it. I mean, you were just kind of telling me a story. Although, that's right in the name. It's The Eldritch Teller, not The Eldritch Clicky Clicky Fun Time. Well, that'll do us for this episode. I will see you all next time. Until then, you have a great day. And remember to hit like, comment, subscribe. Slick. Slick way I, I just added that right in at the end.